Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome back to the Miranda Show. It's your girl Miranda. So today I want to teach you guys how to finger stitch. Now some of you guys are already may already know how to do it, but for those of you who don't know how to finger stitch, I want to show you guys how to do it. So you take the end of your yarn and make it about that much maybe it depends on what you're making I'm probably gonna make an this or whatever but take about that much right and then you take it like this take your right hand because make sure the longer part of the yarn is on the right side on the right hand and then you take two fingers on the left on the left hand you wrap the yarn around the two fingers on the left hand and then you pull it through after you got it around and there is your slip knot so the next thing I'm going to do is you take your long part of the yarn and then you kind of grab it up to the knot and you pull it through and you just keep doing it until you get something that looks like a braid kind of that's what finger stitching is it's basically braiding yarn but without actually taking three strips of yarn but if you can see it it should look something like this But yeah, that's basically all what you do. You just take your yarn and pull it through the little loop several times until you get a long braid. Now you can make it as long as you want. It doesn't have to be short, you know, you can just do whatever you want. But yes it should look something like this and be careful when you're finger stitching because if you pull it too tight you'll get a, a finger blister so just have something around your finger like tape if you're not allergic to tape or even a band-aid just have something to protect your fingers when you're finger stitching that way you don't get a blister because I learned that the other day when I was finger stitching I got a blister on my middle finger from finger stitching but yeah that's all you do so thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it peace and God bless